Hello, thank you for tuning into this week's section of readings. Or these readings are valid for whenever you come to them, but you know this current incarnation. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Ghost Tarot. If I can get it over in the right spot, so you can see it. By artwork by David Cossie. Let me get my glasses. I'm gonna read that one. Cozy, C O Z I C O Z S I, and there's websites in the back here, which I'm not even gonna. I think it's less great, less. Bleh. Nope, can't speak today, but they're right there. If you're interested in the websites, go for them. There you go. The Oracle cards, um, Sword of Light Oracle by Radley Valentine, illustrations by Echo Chernick. That's what this box looks like. And there's the website. Where's the website? There's the websites I found in the book here. So feel free to freeze frame and check anything out there that's interesting to you. I think there's a Radley Valentine one in there. So feel free to check anything out that works in your favor. And last but not least, I use dice, a 22-sided dice substituting 22 for 0 for the Fool, and a 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana, and I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element to dictate which suit of the Minor, minor Arcana I'm going to use. It's from The Dice Shop, and the website is mathartfun.com. Hopefully you can see that if you want to. mathartfun.com. All right, with that being said... If you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching. Let's get into your reading. Hello, Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You're Virgo, that's why. You have the Hanged Man coming up, but it's one of those cards, well, you always have to take into account who you're reading for and the energy, how it's working for that person, in case somebody was wondering. Um, because not every not every sign likes the same card or dislikes the same card. Like, you know, Earth signs tend to work well with the Hanged Man, tend to, not always. Uh, same thing with the Wheel of Fortune. Earth cards tend to not like the Wheel of Fortune, but sometimes fire cards do, or fire signs do. Why am I getting into that? Because I see the Hangman coming up, and my first reaction was like, oh, usually people don't like that, but the more I feel it, the more I see things around it, I'm like, things getting stuck here in the future might give you that opportunity to go, well, since we're sitting here anyway, let me review this. Let me go back and look and see, is this working? Does this make sense? Is this the time where I could start making some adaptions? Adaptions. So ad adaptions aren't like complete changes. It's kind of like, you know, um, editing a recipe. It's kind of like, it's still chicken cordon bleu, but the, the type of chicken, the way I cook it, what else you put with it, like the sides you're putting with it. Like, we, I like this, I like that, I want to cook this a little differently. Instead of having green beans with it, I'm going to have this other mushroom dish with it, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, so it's a, I feel like we're going towards adaptions or adapting. There is, whatever the situation is, it's fairly good, but there are some points of contention here because I get like, when I see this, the four of cups, it, let's see, again, it depends on who's, who you're reading for. I do think that you see what's good here. And I do see, see you looking at it like, you know what, for the most part, it's working. There's just a couple pieces that maybe aggravate you a little bit. Kind of like that really could go better. That 
that's just not where it's supposed to be. I wish it was just a little bit more like this. Um, I feel like these are just pieces pieces of things that um, they could go better. Maybe you haven't had the time. The time? I don't know if time's the right word. There's something here that just you haven't had the ability to do it or just maybe there's other things in the way. And you want to. And for some reason, it's kind of like, uh, that's not on the list today. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Virgo has usually a plan and it's just, it just doesn't make it onto the plan. How's that? It just doesn't make it onto it. Um, typically Virgo has a plan. We're coming up to that soon, right? I feel like it's also something, there's this weird like nagging, like, oh, I have to do that. Oh, I have to do that. It's kind of like one of those feelings. And it just never seems to come together. I know I want to do it, but I just, the information just doesn't come to me. I seem to feel like there's something else that's supposed to add in. So it might be one of those things where I want to fix that, but I also, there might be somebody else's connection you, you need with this. Somebody else's connection. So I feel like the reason I'm saying connection, it might be literally their physical help, it might be information, or maybe it might be they need to kind of help you know, like tell you what they know or something, or maybe you need to tell them what you know so that they change how they do things, something like that. There seems to be some type of connection. It depends on what you're dealing with. It's coming forward. I feel like it's a little uncomfortable, but good. Because this hanged man moment is about to sh show up. I don't think you're expecting it. But it's what happens just before it. So it's like everything is normal, 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 normal. An incident happens and then it's like we're, we're kind of stuck for a second, but I feel like this is gonna work to your advantage. So it's like nothing, normal, 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 normal. Something happens and then we're just kind of like just standing here, not doing anything for a minute. How is this coming in? The tower card. <laughs> I mean, I said you weren't expecting it. I just feel like it's funny that at the beginning I said, usually earth signs don't like the tower card. It was a, it was a wheel of fortune. It was a wheel of fortune, but still the same thing. Well, not the same thing, but same type of idea. It's a surprise you weren't really looking for. You're right in the middle of the situation. All of a sudden you're in the middle of this situation. Something's coming in. Something comes in really quickly. You got the Knight of Wands. You got the Chariot. Chariot is telling me this is something you fit in. This is something like, okay, I'm supposed to be here. And you, It's not about liking it. It's knowing that, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Almost like having that job. Like, yeah, this is my job. Do I want to be in the middle of this mess? No. But is it part of my job? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of those things. Something like that. Um, coming right in. It's coming in in the right time. I'll show you those cards in a second. Um, this is working. Information is coming your way. Somebody else had you on their list on their list to say somebody else had you on their list. I don't know exactly why or how, but I feel like it makes sense when this happens. Like clearly they had you on their list, like you were on the to-do list in some version. Um I keep talking to this, but it's coming the information's coming in, it's happening in the right time. Now, when I say that, I want to say cosmically, spiritually, it's happening when it's supposed to. I'm not saying you're going to agree with that. Just when it happens. I'm not saying you're going to agree with that. But when it comes in, this information, it's like normal, 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 poof. A lot of energy, a lot of information, a lot of supplies almost. It's almost like I'm given all the supplies I'm going to need to make changes going forward. And then the stagnant part is like, oh, okay, I got this room full of supplies now I got to organize it, decide what I'm going to use, what I'm not going to use, and when I'm going to use it, where I need to store it so it's where I need it to be, when I'm going to, you know, when I'm looking for it. It just feels like all of a sudden, okay, I got I got an inventory. What do I actually need for this project? Where do I want to put it so it's where I need it for when I need it? 
it's good. It's good. It puts you, what's that card? It's good. The be honest with yourself with the magician. It may feel overwhelming for a moment. So it may. The advice I'm kind of getting from this that you might want to try, make a short, simple list of things that, like, for example, you know, inventory supplies, decide what supplies needed are needed for this um, job or situation, and then, you know, put them where they need to go so I know where they are when I need to go get them. And then just literally do the first one, do the inventory, for example, and then, you know, when you do the inventory, that's, if, if this works the way it feels, if, if this reading is hitting, while you're doing the inventory, for example, your energy will settle because it's going to be like part of your soul, if you will, will be settled. Part of your brain will be settled. Kind of like, okay, one piece is set. One piece is ready. And then more information will kind of easily come in. Kind of like, okay, now I have to decide what I need for this job or this situation. So you're going through like, okay, I can see me doing this. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need this. So that you're kind of making your list. You're probably going to check it a couple times. Um, and then after you made your list, what you need, you're going to get your stuff. And then more, it's, it's like the energy is going to like settle for you and going to rest because you're making progress. It's going to bring in the positive energy. And then just keep going. Like go as far as you can, but keep moving forward and keep taking things off your list while you're building your list. I hope this makes sense. I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of cringing because I'm like, I don't know if, I don't know if this is going to, I feel like this is going to work for this situation. I know I seem to think earth likes the plan, likes the plan set. And then once the plan is ready, then go into the plan. That's how I usually interpret earth energy. And you're clearly earth energy, but I don't know if they're saying it just for this or if there's a missing something here. Cause it's, they're kind of like, set it up, put your basic things together that you know you need to do work on the first one your energy will settle and it'll give you more, more information will start flowing in to like set in the next pieces to like refine the next pieces. I hope that makes sense. I hope that seems doable because I keep like, I'm fighting myself because I'm just like, I keep thinking of earth. Like you get the plan, you make the plan, you refine the plan. And then you go through the plan from A to B to C to D. But it's like the plan should already be set before you start it. That's how I interpret Earth a lot of times. But this seems a little bit, it seems like an edit to that. So let me know if that makes sense or not. Because um, I feel like if we're able to do that, this will settle that energy. This will empower you to keep moving forward. It'll, it'll get the better outcome that you're looking for. So it's almost like instead of just going through the plan, going through the plan, and then going, okay, it's set, let's do it. I, I, I have a feeling some of you are going to be like, that's how you do it anyway. And others are going to be like, no, that's not at all how you do it. So like, maybe it's your flavor of earth. Maybe if this is hitting, of course, what comes up next? This card jumped out of the deck. Okay. So you got the queen of swords coming in. This might be part of what triggers that hanged man moment. Somebody's coming in. I feel like word vomit information information word vomit like a lot of information like if it's possible if, if this happens and it's possible and it's possible and you're thinking of it maybe like pull out your phone and record the conversation so that you can go back and listen to it again and gather all the information a little bit more easily I, I, of course if it's a business situation clearly ask the person if that's okay and just like pull out your phone, record the conversation, whatever that takes. And then you could go back and be like, okay, oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what I thought I heard. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Just so you can put it all in perspective and like, it might be easier. It might bring down the stress level of, a little bit if you're allowed to do that because I keep getting like word vomit, like a lot of information, a lot of good information, but it's so much at once. It reminds me of some jobs that I've started years ago. Uh, I would start it with the attitude of like, I'm gonna start this job as if the people helping me 
are only going to help me once and I'm not going to have a chance to talk to them again, which was not the case. They were always like, ask as many questions as you want, blah, 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 blah. That's fine. But I find that when I have that attitude where I need to know it now, I need to get everything right now and make the best notes possible so I can do it on my own. I feel like I do the best. I don't know if that's going to help you, but I feel like that's my attitude going into it. Like I need to take this as if I'm not going to see this person again, or I'm going to end up talking to somebody else or, you know, in some situations you can ask as many questions as you want. You might not be able to talk to this person every five seconds. You might have to wait to the end of the day or maybe once or twice a week, you might be able to talk to them. So it's kind of like take as much information as you can while they're teaching it to you and write it in a way like I have to be able so like I can read this back and be like, okay, yeah, that's right. I got to do this. I got to do that. Uh, especially if you're doing it on a computer. I was notorious for taking screenshots. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I see this picture, that picture, that's right. Because like a lot of information, I just feel like it's going fast, fast, fast. I feel like it's a good thing. Um, I see these two cards together and I showed you the seven of pentacles before, but this says, when it says be a light to others, I'm getting like this information explosion, like a lot of information that you need. I will put a little... Is it a caveat? I don't know what you want to say. The information is needed. I'm not commenting on the quality of person or how you feel about that person. Uh, the information is needed. So just in case, I'm just saying. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that gets confusing. Like the information, yes, good. Stuff you need. I'm not talking about the quality of the character of the person. This is general read, general read especially. Just in case that matters for some people. Because like, I feel like there's even people in my life where I'm like, oh, I don't want to really talk to them. But sometimes they have good information, whether I like it or not, and I have to kind of absorb it. I'm just saying, just going down that road with it. Okay, so when this, we're going to hit this, all this information, we hit this moment where the thing kind of just like sticks. How does it come out of that? I think I already gave the answer. Two of Wands reversed. We don't need to make quick decisions. They're just reminding that. We don't need to make any quick decisions. But the Strength card also comes up, which is saying we got to push forward with the plan. So I kind of gave that plan already. I know. So they're, they're saying the, this might go easier, kind of like, all right, I got three basic pieces. Let me work on the first basic one. The plan's not already set, but I feel like there's kind of there's moving pieces here. So you could try to get the whole plan set locked in but it's going to change on you and it's going to be even more frustrating get the three basics or whatever get the basic outline and start working on the first one i know it may sound a little i keep feeling i'm cringing when i'm saying it but like if you work on the basic part like i said like inventory what i got like all this stuff came in for me to do this job i'm going to start inventorying it and putting it where i think it should go for now and then the next part i'm going to start deciding what I need for this job. And as I'm doing that, more information is going to keep coming my way so I can make better decisions like what I'm going to need. And then as you do the simple things, keep moving forward. Like, but make that simple, simple outline, simple plan, simple. Make sure you make it simple though because it will change. And as long as you keep this simple, I feel like this doesn't have to drive you crazy. Especially it's kind of like your attitude going into it or your perception. I want to say perception. I use that word a lot in my own life to myself. <laughs> um, because if you realize, like, it's kind of like when I go to a movie or something, at least this is true for me, if I'm not really expecting it to be that great, my expectations are low and it tends to be better than I thought. Versus, like, um, there was a movie years ago, Forrest Gump, for example. Everybody loved it. And I had these really high expectations and I was like, eh, it's okay. It's still a great movie, I'm sure it is, but I think because my expectations were so high, it was very hard for those expectations to be met. Uh, it was really, it's really a great movie. It's just, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know what I was expecting from it, but I just, I was like, oh, it's okay. Um, so if you have their expectations low-ish, realistically low, and then you do that very loose outline of this is the plan and keep filling it in as you go, it shouldn't stress you out too much, hopefully. Otherwise, if you kind of go and you keep, if you try to control it more than that, you will succeed. You'll, I feel like either way you're going to succeed. I just feel like the stress, if you do the plan thing, the, the loose plan, the stress is here. If you do this where you, you, you try to 
make that detailed plan, the stress is like off off the camera. <laughs> it's just a you, it's just you know, to make it easier for you. That's the point. Um, having that loose outline but still following some sort of plan, that's kind of like the that's being open to possibilities, but still having some type of plan. I feel like that's realistic for Virgo. Again, I keep seeing this. You're going to have success. You're going to have the success that you need from this situation. So that is going to work. Um, you could do it the stressful way or the less stressful way. I'm not going to say it's going to be stress-free. I don't think you believe me anyway. Good for you. But it's good. You could go the very stressful or the less stressful way. <laughs> you will get there. Um, it's just kind of like the perception of it all so that it's not driving you completely mad. Oh, that's what this reading is trying to get to. Hopefully, I explained it well. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. It's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.